Hello and welcome to Sandra Can Cook. Today's recipe, as you can see, is my edited version of my fried dough of both or both food. Others will say mandazi. Okay, so today's recipe, I have it on my channel already, but I want to show you the new version that I have with two ingredients that I never had on the previous video. So come along and let's fry. Today's recipe for the edited version of my fried dough or puff fruit or puff puff I add one tablespoon of um, and two tablespoons of sugar and some warm water and this is just to activate the yeast so not hot warm to touch Okay, give it a good mix. Then I'm going to cover this and allow the yeast to activate. So we cover this and allow the yeast to rise beautifully. I'm going to keep this in my microwave. If you have um, your oven not turned on, it's quite hot here now, so I can even leave it in the sunshine. In a different bowl, I go ahead and add my five cups of self-raising flour, which I'm going to be sieving beautifully. The second cup goes in there. Then in goes my last flour, which is my fifth cup. And I'm still saving just to get it airy and allow some fluffiness in a fried dough recipe, both food or puff puff. To this, I add that's one cup of sugar. Now, we like it quite sweet, okay? So, this is entirely a matter of preference, all right? And a half. Let me take a bit of it, yeah. Teaspoon, teaspoon of cinnamon, nutmeg, and some salt. Then we go ahead and give this a good mix. So we mix it beautifully and then check on our yeast whether it's activated fully. Make a little hole in between all the mixed ingredients. So our yeast has activated. That's the bubble you can see on the top. If you leave it longer than I did, then you're going to be fine with more activation. But guys, I am impatient, okay? And it's running a bit late where I am. All right, so I'll add my activated yeast to my flour and the other mixtures. To this, I go ahead and add a bit of some olive oil in there. And then I add some evaporated milk. This is just optional, but I like the flavors and the smell it brings into my fried dough recipe. All puff puff. We mix all this together. Okay, so I've got some warm water here. Keep adding in bits till I get the consistency I'm looking for. And I don't want it runny. I don't want a thick, tough dough. I just want it soft enough where I can mold when I'm dropping into the oil. Okay. 
it's still not there yet add some warm water give it a good mix now I've got a recipe on this already on my channel but there's an edited version I didn't have the olive oil and I also didn't have the evaporated milk in that video and in that recipe I tried this and I found it very beautiful for the sugar content it is a, a personal preference okay so it all depends on how much sugar you want just a drop that's it and from here you can choose to choose your, you can choose to use your hands to mix if you're okay with the spatula you go ahead and do justice to it this is a perfect consistency texture wise okay Like I said, I like it sweet. If you don't like it sweet, reduce your sugar content, right? The milk too, if you have issue with milk, you can leave it out. But if you love milk, try this recipe and you will not regret it. The smell it gives, the taste is beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this and allow it to rise. You can do an hour or two if you have any more time or you're free you can allow it extra but I'm going to allow it for an hour and a bit more here we are mm, 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 mm. look at the bubbles on top okay so this has really worked beautifully so I'm just going to dash my neatly washed hands in this. And whilst I'm doing this, my oil is on and I'm using the sunflower oil, okay? Perfect consistency. I like the stretch of the dough, gets in the air out, and then straight into the oil. If you haven't subscribed to this channel to become a member of the SCC family, Go ahead and hit the button, get onto the bell, share the videos, like and comment. Let's go and get this fried dough recipe, aka puff puff or buff fruits going. So I just roll it like that, like this, get it, and then into the oil I drop it. Now you don't want the oil too hot. And remember the minute you drop it it will start browning and so you want to start turning really quickly before it gets heavy see this is it you want to start turning before it starts to misbehave now I'm a bit late on this one so it's going to start misbehaving once one side gets browning it gets heavy and then it disallows you from turning it onto the other side. So once you drop it in, you want to start with your turning. Okay? And you want to make sure the oil is not too, too, too hot. I'm going to reduce the heat from here. So this is what I mean by you needing to turn it the minute you drop it. Because if you don't, and it gets stubborn, it is going to start misbehaving. Okay? So this is just to show you what I mean by turn it the minute you drop it so here's another batch guys I have been fighting this beautiful things in this oil all right so this is the second batch I've just done got to get it out really quickly before it starts burning turn the fire way down guys these babies can be very stubborn so I'm not even packing them at all. Okay? I'm not packing them. They are really fighting me here. 
I also can hear my mouth is full because I've just tasted the ones I've done and it tastes divine. It tastes beautiful. Let me see. That's browning. I don't want to fight anybody here, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn them as quickly as possible. And as you can see, they are still fighting me. Okay. So if you have anyone around you that can be doing the turning for you, you go ahead and let someone do the turning. If not, it is going to burn badly on one side, leaving the other side way too light. Mm -hmm. Some of them, you've got to hold them down to tell them, I am the chef, okay? And the oil belongs to me. So you stay where I put you. So this is how you keep turning till it becomes golden brown, right? Guys, with the fresh milk, ever, um, evaporated milk in here, the taste is just perfect. So beautiful. So the final bit is ready. Beautiful. Here we are. All done, guys. This is it. Quite hot, though. Very beautiful. So this is my edited version of my um, fried dough, puff puff, both fruits. Try this recipe and let me know how you did. Okay? Thank you for staying with me today. Bye.